Hi, this is Dan from Magic Pachinko Restorations, and this video is going to show you how to uh, get your pachinko up on the wall. Um, if you have purchased a frame, cabinet frame from me, it will come to you looking like this. Um, this is an unfinished cabinet uh, made of pine. This is mainly designed for folks that want to um, paint this frame to match their, their room. Okay. So what you'll see is based on your machine, there's going to be an access hole here and I'll explain that in just a minute. And then this is the, the, this is the back and this is the top and this is half of what's called a cleat hanger and that will already be in the upper part of the cabinet. Now what you'll also get is the second half of the cleat and what this is is a 2x4 that's been cut on a, on a 45 degree angle uh, straight through. So if you notice it says this side to the wall so what you're going to do is locate uh, studs in the wall and then you want to uh, drill holes through this where the studs are and then put in good long screws get at least three inch screws because you want to get this to the wall good and solid so what i've got here is is this is a, a half a cleat for my machine which i've taken off the wall but this with its with the this side to the wall you're going to put that portion against the wall so that the the angle of the cleat is, is actually back here in this area, okay? So the, the way you want to do this is, is you want to have your, your, your frame, let me do this. Okay. All right, that's, that's the machine that came off the wall and you can see the frame around it. So what you want to do is, is figure out, you want the, the play field of the machine to be at uh, your, your eye level. So um, if, if you're just going to have all adults play, obviously their eye level is up higher than kids. If it's going to be mostly kids, you want to mount it down a little bit lower. But that determines how high or low this gets put to the wall. And again, you want to hit studs wherever you can because the, there is quite a lot of weight. So once you get the, 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 this half of the cleat on the wall, it's just, it's very easy. All you're going to do is pick up the frame that I've sent and you just hang it on the cleat like that. And, and it's done. Now, what you're going to do is... Pick, pick up the pachinko machine, and I don't, I don't have one in the house, and it's heavy anyway, but you're going to set the pachinko machine into the frame. And down along the bottom of the pachinko machine is, is the baseboard, which is painted black. That's going to sit right on this shelf. And these cabinets are built with about a, a half-inch clearance on either side for the machine itself. And then at the top, there's about three-quarters of an inch or so clearance up at the top. So you want to put your pachinko machine in so that the front of the pachinko is even with the face of this, this frame. And that allows enough depth for the, the back side of the pachinko. So once you get it in there and get it set the way you want it, you're going to take some uh, about two inch screws, inch and a half screws, and you're simply going to, to run the screw up through this right into that baseboard of the pachinko and you only need a couple maybe two and then you're going to do the same thing on the sides you're going to run a screw right through this board it's going to go through and in into the frame that's that's on your pachinko machine and that's going to hold it from doing this um, when you do that you want to use a level and you want to have the machine, when the machine sits like this, you don't want it to be tipping forward at all. 
you want it to actually lean back just a little bit. Um, level to leaning back just a little bit. Uh, you don't want it leaning forward because then the, the balls won't, won't work up through. The, the, it'll work, but it won't be ideal. You want them leaning back just a little bit. And again, you don't tip them back. You just lean them back a little bit. And then once you get it where you want it, you run a screw in through here and a screw in through here. And then the machine is, is into this frame, good and tight. And then you're gonna reach through this hole and there's the latch that holds the, the pachinko machine to its frame. And you'll be able to release that and you just grab the, uh, the thumb rest and just pull and it will open the machine right up. Let me see if I can get this back up on the wall without killing myself. I'm just checking the time. I didn't want to. Don't want to. Didn't want the video to go too long. Oh, that's way too heavy. <laughs> it's it. it's loaded with pachinko balls. Do you want to do it? Yeah, I guess we can do it. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Obviously, you don't do it when your pachinko machine is full of pachinko balls. That adds about 30 pounds. But that's what it'll look like sitting. You just reach in, hit that, you release, and then you can open it. And you'll have a setup like this. Uh, your, your ball catch box will be in here. You can lift that out, put the, the balls back in. You can also get at the release for your... your uh, front door if you want to. I've got mine set with a wire so that if I want to just open the glass I just lift up on this and I can just open the front. Uh, I, I don't do that on these. Uh, they're easy enough to do yourself if you want. Uh, I just have it set so that you can reach in wherever your latch is. and. This is the latch that I'm talking about here. Okay, so that should that should get you with your pachinko up on the wall. Thanks. <laughs>